from the glorious clouds of high heaven, from the divine ether, the vital essence, and the great concourse of eternal deities, there issued forth the heavenly pair Izanagi, his augustness, the lord of invitation, and with him, Izanami, her augustness, the lady of invitation. Together they stood upon the floating bridge of high heaven, and they looked down to where the mists swirled in confusion beneath their feet. For to them had been given power and commandment to make, consolidate, and give birth to the drifting lands. And to this end the august powers had granted them a heavenly jeweled spear. And the two deities, standing upon the floating bridge of heaven, lowered the jeweled spear head first into chaos, so that the mists were divided. And, as they waited, the brine dripped from the jewels upon the spearhead. And there was formed an island. This is the island of Onoguro. And his augustness, the lord of invitation, took by the hand. Her augustness, the lady of invitation, his lovely younger sister, and together they descended to the island that was created. And they made the islands of Japan the land of Iyo, which is called lovely princess the land of Toyo, which is called luxuriant sun youth the land of Sanuki, which is called good prince boiled rice and great Yamato, the luxuriant island of the dragonfly and many more, of which to tell were weariness. Furthermore, they gave birth to many myriads of deities to rule over the earth, and the air and the deep sea and for every season. There were deities, and every place was sacred, for the deities were like the needles of the pine trees in number. Now, when the time came for the fire god, Kagusuchi, to be born, his mother, the lady Izanami, was burned, and suffered a change, and she laid herself upon the ground. Then Izanagi, the prince who invites, asked, What is it that has come to thee, my lovely younger sister? And she answered, Weeping, the time of my departure draws near. I go to the land of Yomi. And his augustness Izanagi wept aloud, dropping his tears upon her feet and upon her pillow. And all his tears fell down and became deities. Nevertheless, the lady Izanami departed. Then his augustness, the prince who invites, was wroth and lifted his face to high heaven, and cried, O oh, thine augustness, my lovely younger sister, that I should have given thee in exchange for this single child. And, drawing the ten grasp sword that was girded upon him, he slew the fire god, his child and binding up his long hair. He followed the lady Izanami to the entrance of Yomi, the world of the dead. And she, the princess who invites, appearing as lovely as she was when alive, came forth to greet him. And she lifted up the curtain of the palace of Hades, that they might speak together. And the lord Izanagi said, I weary for thee, my lovely younger sister, and the lands that thou and I created together are not finished making. Therefore come back. Then the lady made answer, saying, My sweet lord, and my spouse, it is very lamentable that thou camest, not sooner unto me, for I have eaten of the baked meats of Yomi. Nevertheless, as thou hast dearly honored me in thy coming here, thine augustness, my lovely elder brother, if it may be, I will return with thee. I go to lay my desire before the gods of Yomi, wait thou here until I come again, and, if thou love me, seek not to look upon me till the time. And so she spoke and left him. Izanagi sat upon a stone at the entrance of the palace of Hades until the sunset, and he was weary of that valley of gloom, and because she tarried long, he arose and plucked a comb from the left tress of his hair, and broke off a tooth from one end of the comb, and lighting it to be a torch. He drew back the curtain of the palace of Yomi, but he saw his beloved lying in corruption, and round about her were the eight deities of thunder. They are the fire thunder, and the black thunder, and the cleaving thunder, and the earth thunder, and the roaring thunder, and the couch and thunder, and the young thunder. And by her terrible head was the great thunder. And Izanagi, being overawed, turned to flee away. But Izanami arose and cried, Thou hast put me to shame, for thou hast seen my defilement. Now I will see thine also. And she called to her the hideous females of Yomi, and bade them take and slay his augustness, the lord who invites. But he ran for his life, in the gloom, stumbling upon the rocks of the valley of Yomi, and tearing the vine wreath from his long hair he flung it behind him. And it fell to the ground and became many bunches of grapes, which the hideous females stayed to devour. And he fled on, but the females of Yomi still pursued him so then, he took a multitudinous and close-toothed comb from the right tresses of his long hair, and cast it behind him. When it touched the ground it became a groove of bamboo shoots, and again, the females stayed to devour and Izanagi fled on, panting. But, in her wrath and despair, his younger sister sent after him. The eight thunders, together with a thousand and five hundred warriors of Hades, yet he, the prince of invitation, drew the ten grasp sword that was augustly girded upon him, and brandishing it behind him gained at last, the base of the even pass of Hades, the black mouth of Yomi. And he plucked there three peaches that grew upon a tree, and smote his enemies that they all fled back, and the peaches were called their augustnesses, great divine fruit. Then, last of all, his younger sister, the princess who invites, herself, came out to pursue, so Izanagi took a rock which could not have been lifted by a thousand men, and placed it between them in the even pass of Hades, and standing behind the rock, he pronounced a leave-taking and words of separation, but, from the farther side of the rock, Izanami called to him, my lovely elder brother, thine, 
Augustness, of small avail shall be thy making of lands, and thy creating of deities. For I, with my powers, shall strangle every day a thousand of thy people. So she cried, taunting him. But he answered her, My lovely younger sister, thine Augustness, if thou dost. So, I shall cause, in one day, fifteen hundred to be born. Farewell, so her Augustness, the lady who invites, is called the Queen of the Dead. But the great Lord, his Highness, the Prince, who invites, departed, crying, Horror, 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 I have come to a hideous and polluted land. And he lay still by the riverside, until such time as he should recover strength to perform purification.